So now we want to understand we're going to get money to do business. We don't do business to get money. We want to make sure we got our FICO together. Don't be talking that personal credit stuff. We're going to go on with Willie and make sure we fund Willie and we're out of the game. Put some money to the side and make sure that Willie is going to be able to pay the loan on time. And then after a year or whatever, we're going to remove ourselves. Willie going to borrow the money on his own because he's going to be strong. We put the money aside to do that, right? So he's going to be strong. Then we're going to get Willie to pay off the what we PG and now we free as a bird. Now go back and go get another court and rinse and repeat. That's how you acquire wealth. Make sense? All right. So the next thing is banks don't like babies. So people go out and say, well, I just got my corporation three months ago. Banks don't lend money to babies. Bank requires you to have at least two and a half tax years before they even consider lending you money. They're not going to let you go in and experiment on their money. Like if you, if you was a person, you say, wait, wait a minute. How old are you? And you're going to operate on my puppy, on my dog. You know, I love that dog. You say, well, I've been doing this. I just started doing this. I just got out of school. You're going to let that person got out of school do that? Or you're going to let that person, that doctor operate that's been doing this for years? Well, that's the same way the bank thinks. We'd rather deal with people who are old, who have age, who have knowledge of what they're doing. So you never get a corporation that's under two and a half tax years. Now, I got a guy come in and said, well, I got my corporation and I didn't get no money, Mr. White. I said, well, listen, how old is the court? So two years old. I said, brother, I told you two and a half tax years. A tax year is what? A tax year is one year and four months. January to April, right? So January to April is one year, four months times two. That's two years, eight months. So you might as well round it off to three years. So never go into a bank talking about trying to get some money unless your corp is three years old or older. Next thing is don't go into the bank with a court older than eight years. Some people come to me and say, man, you got to have an age court. So, man, I got this 15-year-old court. I'm here to get some good money. I said, oh, really? He said, what's wrong? I said, well, you look like an old man that ain't did a damn thing. That's what the bank looks at you as, an old woman or old man. Because a corp is like a dog age. A corp is like, you know, you say, hey, man, why are you German Shepherd walking around with, the, you know, his legs dragging? He ain't but 15 years old. You say, man, because, first of all, German Shepherds do that. Number two, the corp, the corp is like a dog age, a dog age at 10 is like 70. So the bank gonna say, you 70 years old and you ain't got no financials. You ain't got no car. You don't have no 4506 T's. You don't have none of that. So either you a horrible businessman, a horrible businesswoman, you ain't been doing nothing or you're lying. So don't ever go under three years and never go over eight years. Go by the rules that I'm showing you. You have a 99% chance of winning and getting the money. Don't go by the rules that you got 99% chance of failing and hoping and wishing and crossing your fingers the hope we get the loan, honey. No. Go to bed knowing I'm the CEO. I speak Latin. I know exactly what they want. And we getting that loan. We walking out of there with that money. So you want to make sure that you don't go under three years and don't go over eight years. Because most of the companies, they say, well, we know you're not a baby, so we'll deal with you. You're three years old. You're five years old. You're seven years old. We know you're not a baby, but we know you're not a grown-up, so you're going to require a PG. You say, fine. I speak Latin. Latin. I'm a PG. I've got a good fight go. They say, oh, you speak Latin. Come on in. So you walk in, you say, listen, my corporation is in between the good spot. Not under three, not over eight. So some people say, well, how am I going to do that? You say, did you know the same way you can buy a new corporation, you can buy Owen? So they call those season age shelf corporations. Season age shelf corporations. You probably never heard it before. So you're like, well, what's that? And is that legal? Well, they buy restaurants and sell them every day. They buy companies that sell them every day. That's called acquisitions, mergers, and sales. So of course it's legal. Of course you can buy one. So go online and look for an age corporation. Season age is the same thing. Season age means, you know, it's just old. And season age shelf means some lawyer or somebody put it on the shelf and they held it there until it aged up. Because they know people that know this are going to buy the hell out of them. Because nobody wants to wait around forever to get no money. Because a lot of people who have money understand you don't do business to get money. You get money to do business. So they 
go out, get them a corporation, build it up right, got the fight going in place. They're going to put them two together, going to get that money, take money, put it aside to service the loan. I'm rocking. And I don't sing and I don't dance. And I don't do none of that. I go in here and get my money. And now I put my money to work for me and I get it popping. Now, season age is the same thing. Shelf court means somebody like a lawyer or somebody put it on the shelf and they aged it like wine. And now they sell it when it become of age because they know banking. They know that the bank are going to deal with you unless you're three years or more. So they age them. Now, a place you can get them from is Wholesale Shelf Corps. They sell plenty of good, good corps, plenty of corps online. So you want a season age shelf corp, but guess what? You want a season age shelf corp unpublished, unpublished. So you never want to buy a corporation online. You know why? Because they don't know it because they're not bankers. See, a bank can go into a special algorithm and they can see if that corp was ever sold online. So you went in and picked out a corp and said, I want to buy this one. Two walk in the bank and said, yeah, I like some money. I speak Latin. He's going to say, really? Well, how come this court was sold online last month? We can see it right here. You're a liar. Then they're going to red flag you. If they think you're piggybacking, they're going to red flag you. And what that means is you can still do business, but you ain't going to get no money. Because remember, banks talking to banks, they're talking to each other. So now they're going to say, oh, wait a minute. You think you slick. So don't do that. Don't buy a corp online. They sell corporations for like $14,000, a lot of them. Wouldn't you buy a corp for fourteen dollars Grand, that's a five year old court. If you know you can get 50 grand, 100 grand, 200 grand, where can you do that? That's why they sell them off the shelf. I think it's ridiculous to sell one for 14,000. We sell shelf corps too, but we don't sell them for no $14,000 and we don't sell them online because they're not bankers. They don't understand the bank can see that. So you want to do what they call season age shelf court. Why shelf court? Because put it on the shelf and it's never had an EIN number. If you go and get a corporation, that has an EIN number, then guess what? It could have bad credit. So now you got a court for nothing. It's got bad credit already. So you know it don't have bad credit if it never had an EIN number attached to it. So that's why it's a season age, same thing, shelf court. Put on the shelf and just age and kept in good standing, but never issued an EIN. Get your own EIN and unpublished. Don't buy a court online. And unfortunately, everybody sells them online. We don't sell them online, but everybody sells them online. And they sell them at enormous prices. But look at the money you you're going to get back if you know what you're doing.